You're watching WHPS, Highland Park, Detroit. FM 88.1 WHPR, Highland Park. The views and opinions expressed on the following show are not necessarily the views and opinions of WHPS, its affiliates, management, or sponsors. The health food store is located at 3807 East 8 Mile Road, about three blocks west of Ryan. And we're there to service you Monday through Saturday from 10 to 7. And you can give us a call directly at the store at 586-757-DIET. Again, that's 586-757-DIET. Our old number still works, 313-366-DIET. And uh, you can leave me a text or give me a call at 313-600-8532. Um, hmm. <sighs> it's so much stuff going on about COVID, COVID, COVID this and COVID that. And uh, we presented a lot of information about it. Um, but today I wanted to talk about keeping a clean house with non-toxic chemicals okay uh, as you see here I got uh, some uh, detergent uh, my wife will be wondering where her detergent is at <laughs> but uh, I just want to show you there's uh, natural detergents that doesn't have the chemicals in it um, so when you go to wash your clothes you put them on you are not absorbing them all day long okay and um, what I like to do is take a, a cup or two of the uh, uh, acidic water that we have at HealthWise and put that in each load, okay? Um, that uh, it just and helps with the cleansing, but it helps to neutralize a lot of the chemicals and poisons uh, because you still got your tap water. Uh, so that helps uh, to address that too. Um, but these natural cleansers most people already have them in your home okay uh, you can clean your home using natural ingredients like baking soda okay a uh, vinegar uh, coconut oil lemon castile soap and as one more that's not on this list is called um, rubbing alcohol okay and um I had ran across an article about rubbing alcohol, and I'm going to see if I can find it while we are um, on the air, okay? Um, but the other, uh, the other information that I just thought was like a breath of fresh air, okay? Um, commercial cleaners emit toxic chemicals that may cause headaches and respiratory difficulties, organ damage, and cancer. That's how powerful <laughs> breathing those poisons in. You can clean your home efficiently and safely using natural ingredients like baking soda, uh, uh, vinegar, coconut oil, lemon, uh, castile soaps. Essential oils can be added to all of your homemade cleansing supplies and laundry detergents for an extra antimicrobial boost, you know, like the peppermint oil, okay, or the lavender oil. Uh, ditch synthetic air fresheners and scented candles for an aromatherapy diffuser, which smells wonderful and has therapeutic benefits. Uh, we've had diffusers at HealthWise. Um, and if folks want to get some diffusers, we can get some more. Um, a cleanse, a cleanse, decluttered home provides a much-needed sanctuary from the daily grind. It, it's 
hard to fully depress. It's hard to fully decompress if your home is dirty and untidy. And the average American worker spends nearly one hour on household housework daily in an attempt to keep a house clean. But there's a misconception that in order to truly clean your house, you got to down rubber gloves and spray harsh chemicals to do it. In fact, one of the primary reasons for cleaning your home regularly is to clean out the many toxic chemicals that have accumulated in your household dust. Flame retardant chemicals and uh, platies are among them, along with thousands of species of bacteria and fungi. However, if you clean your home with commercial sprays, wipes, scrubs, and polishes, you are putting toxins into your home environment instead of removing them. <laughs> the same goes for most laundry detergents, uh, dryer sheets, and air fresheners. Even those strong-smelling lemon and pine scents, the ones many people believe are the epitome of a clean house, are created by toxic, versatile, organic compounds, VOC. Toxic Vertital organic compounds. You do not expose yourself or your family in these toxins any longer. Okay? You need not do that. As it is simple to clean your home with non toxic cleansers, you can even recreate the same clean scent you love using essential oils. And your home will smell much better for it while offering you therapeutic benefits at the same time. As an added bonus, by creating your own non-toxin cleansers, you will probably save money to prepare to buy, uh, comparing to buying commercial cleansers products. Scented products ex emit a average of 17 VOS. Okay, remember we talked about that VOS, um, versatile, organic, uh, um, versatile, toxic, versatile, organic compounds, VOS. And so, have you ever smelled, felt nausea, dizzy, or gotten a headache after cleaning your home with toxic cleaning supplies? or use an air freshener, it's probably because of the versatile oxic substances, the chemicals, VOS. Eyes, nose, throat irritation is also common at the time of use. And over the longer term, these chemicals can damage your liver, your kidneys, your central nervous system, and even cause cancer. Research by Ann Step in mind, formerly with the University of Washington and currently a professor of civic engineering at the University of Melbourne, Australia, and a coll the colleagues tested 25 household products, including air fresheners and all-purpose cleansers, many of them top sellers, okay, in their category. The team found the average number of VOS emitted was 17. They wrote in the journal Environmental Health Perspective, quote, a single fragrance is a product can contain a mix of hundreds of chemicals, some of which, uh, like the thing, uh, citrus scent, reacts with the ozones and emitted air to form dangerous secondary pollutants, including fibromyalgia, for my height. Okay, that's what they're saying, bombing fluid, some of these cleansers. The researchers detected 133 different VOC, m most commonly detected were like the lean, um, and and uh, this is coming, and there's this A beta pine scene, 
is is that give you that pine scent and out the theme and out the tone often used as carrier for fragrant chemicals each product emits one to eight toxins or hazardous chemicals and close to half 44 percent uh, generated at least one to uh, 24 carcinogenic hazardous air pollutants causing cancer such as uh, I'm, I'm, mm, I'm a attempt to make I announce this uh, art centered okay and from mahagahat from magahai etc <laughs> these Hazardous air pollutants have no safe exposure level, according to U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. <laughs> you can't tell what type of toxic chemicals might be learned in your favorite cleansing supplies because such labeling is not required. The only label is required for products that you're going to take internally. But products that you're going to be cleaning your house with, they don't have to label the ingredients. And they are extremely toxic. <laughs> <sighs> Stellman research also found that products labeled green, natural, and organic emit hazardous air pollutants too. Fragrant products which most co commercial cleansers produce would be classified as are particularly proximatic. With another of semi studies revealed that nearly 35% of all Americans report health problems such as migraine headaches and respiratory difficulties when exposed to these chemical toxins while they're cleaning their house. That being said, a typical, typical professional cleansing product contains more than 132 different chemicals, fragrance among them, but also glycol, ether, sulfites, solvents, prostrates, detergent, and more. So not only is it hurting you, it's hurting the environment, the earth we live in. <laughs> Cleaning products potentially give rise to simultaneous exposure to the different chemical substances. Researchers wrote in the International Journal of Occupational and, and Environmental Health, which is why you are far better off cleaning, your, cleaning the truly natural way. Okay, five essentials for your natural cleansing arsenal. Get into the good stuff. Are you ready to ditch your toxic chemicals in favor of a safe, natural, clean home? Go ahead and purge your cabinet of old cleansing supplies and to make room for these natural cleansing essentials. You might find that you have some of them in your kitchen cabinet already. Number one being baking soda. In, pre in preparation for the Statue of Liberty's 100 year of anniversary in the year 1986, 99 years worth of coal tar had to be removed from the inner copper walls without causing damage. Guess what they used? Baking soda. A hundred tons of it was the cleaner of choice. So there's a good chance it can remove dirt and grime from your home too. <laughs> Use as a safe nine uh, scratch scrub for metals and, and posturing. To clean your oven, sprinkle a cup or more of baking soda over the bottom of the oven. Then cover the, the baking soda with enough water to make a thick paste. Let the mixture set overnight. The next morning, the grease will be easy to wipe up because the grind would have loosened. When you have cleansed up the worst of this mess, dab a bit of liquid detergent or soap on a sponge and wash remaining residue from the oven. From the oven. 
<laughs> it's news to me. I haven't used this, but believe me, I'm where we are. And i let you know what my results was when I try it. If you like, to unclog a drain, baking soda. Pour one half cup to a cup of baking soda down the drain. Then slowly pour one half cup to a whole cup of vinegar right after they put the baking soda in. Cover the drain and let it sit for 15 minutes. If it bubbles, that's a volcano. It means it's working as planned. Flush with a gallon of boiling hot water. <laughs> to deodorize dry carpet. By sprinkling liberally with baking soda, wait at least 15 minutes, then vacuum. Baking soda. <laughs> white vinegar. Distilled white vinegar has found to be useful for disinfecting against uh, E. coli. Provide is used in freshly prepared solution of at least 50% vinegar. Okay, for disinfecting, one study found that spraying vinegar, then spraying hydrogen peroxide, okay, that would be 3% hydrogen peroxide, I would suggest, was effective for killing a variety of bacteria, including E. coli, okay, and salmonella. White vinegar, <laughs> spray that area, and then spray with 3% food grade hydrogen peroxide. You can also combine vinegar and water for excellent window cleansing or spray it into a, a dust of baking soda to cleanse your sink, your tub, your tile floors. <laughs> vinegar and water makes a great all-purpose countertop cleanser as well. Okay. Uh, but for some stone uh, 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 counters using rubbing alcohol or vodka with water instead as the acidity might harm uh, certain surfaces like marble and granite. For heavy duty cleansing like mildew on your bathroom gut, spray vinegar straight into the area and let it sit for 30 minutes then scrub with a sponge and warm water. Vinegar. <laughs> I can say some of the stuff you have already. This I have used. Lemons. Okay. Lemons. Both the juice and the peel. Can be used throughout your home for cleansing and deodorizing. Consider the following uses. Garbage disposal. That's why I have used it at. Okay. Um. Freeze lemon slices and vinegar in ice cube trays. Place a few frozen cubes down your disposal for cleansing and refreshing. So I've taken, uh, say I love um, grapefruit. Eat the grapefruit and take the peeling and put it in the uh, garbage disposal and just grind it up. Not all the way, just grind it up just for the aroma. And it just had that fresh uh, uh, I've done it with oranges, I've done it with lemons, limes, and of course grapefruits. And it just um, just makes the whole kitchen smell fresh. <laughs> Refrigerators. Sponge, a, a soaky sponge and lemon juice. And let it sit in your refrigerator for a few hours. It works better than baking soda to remove odors. Odors. <laughs> Uh, room freshener, okay. Summer a pot of water and add lemon juice, uh, lemon peels, groves, and cinnamon sticks, okay. We have different oils. You can do that. Put some boiling water on. Put you some lemon oil in there, <laughs> peppermint oil, lavender, okay. Um, here we got the peels of the lemons or the lime and the oranges. And the cloves and the cinnamon sticks. Humidifier. Okay. Summer a pot of water and add lemon peel, cloves, and cinnamon sticks for the air freshener. 
Oh, humidifier. Add lemon juice to the water in your humidifier. Then let the machine run for deodorizing. Now, I like to uh, take the humidifier. <laughs> can't, can't help it. Take two to four ounces of the 35% food grade hyperoxide. Put in that humidifier. And it kills the germs, fungus, bacteria, viruses, mold, yeast in the air. Okay. And uh, now, I've been doing that for years. You know, different businesses do it. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> A little switcheroo here. Uh, this is Mikael from HealthWise. And uh, we're located at 3807 East 8 Mile Road, about three blocks west of Ryan, between Ryan and the Quinta. And we're there to service you Monday through Saturday from 10 to 7. And you can uh, reach us at 586-757-DIET. Again, that's 586-757-3438. Our old number still works, 313-366-DIET. And uh, you can reach me, uh, prefer a text, but you can give us a call at 313-600-8532. Uh, several topics I wanted to discuss here, uh, but I can't stress enough to become a member of uh, Dr. McColdin's, um team because he's giving you a lot of information um, that keeps that's the truth, you know. Like I'm just kind of like underground, and um, and I was reading some things, uh, just quite intriguing. Um, but things that we know about, and suspected, is now uh, coming out. Um, and uh, code about this COVID, this and COVID that, <laughs> um, and just fact checkers and. Ugh. A lot of stuff, but uh, today I wanted to share with you some information that I got from Dr. Uh, Guntley, uh, and uh, we've been using his products and been getting great results, and um, uh, and that's called uh, Total Recall, okay, or Total Restore, I should say. And um, there's helping people with a lot of health conditions because they find out that it's the leaky gut that's causing the tr problems. And this article here from Dr. McCoda, Real Food is a poly ally against depression. Because of the pandemic, the, uh, the depression rate has skyrocketed. The suicide rate is skyrocketed, and um, we find that this Ascaranda, <laughs> this works so good as far as dropping that press, that stress level, okay? I mean, I'm heavy into meditation um, that uh, I just love the results of it, and... Um, is people <laughs> is a ziva z i v a dot com that meditation is to me is geared towards Americans because we live busy lives and uh, we hear about um, and just don't have time for meditation. Uh, but if Oprah, who has millions and maybe even billions of dollars, in which much money becomes much responsibility she may get a point to meditate every day and there's a list of a whole bunch of successful leaders they make it a point to meditate every day um, the reason uh, I like it so much is that it tends to calm the me through the storm, okay. Um, I always thought B complex, you know, was good food for the brain, which helped keep you cool, calm, and collected. You know, we had B complex in our popcorn, uh, which helped keep you cool, calm, and collected, and it does work. Um, 
Uh, but Askus Karanda is specifically designed to keep you cool, calm, and collected. Way more than B complex vitamins, you know. And um, of course, you know, I take them both. <laughs> but um, um, B complex vitamin gives you energy and I can keep moving, okay? Askus Karanda, mm mm. You're gonna be really relaxed, and um, so we you know we need that um, dealing with uh, this um, stressful times. You know because uh, you know this country <laughs> is the number one country for propaganda. <laughs> it's amazing. Um, real food is a poly ally against depression. Okay, real food, as we know, is the fruits and vegetables, nuts, seed, grains, you know, the things that these large animals on the planet eat. Okay, I'm talking about, uh, you know, the gorillas and the elephants and the, the hippopotamus and giraffes, you know, uh, they all vegetarians. <laughs> You know, they don't eat meat. So where do they get the protein from, the question asks. Well, in those foods is what we call amino acids. And amino acids, your body take that and make its own protein. So depression is the leading cause of all of illness, of ill health, and disability worldwide. Since this pandemic, they're attacking us. See, it's a, it's a game between the rich and the poor. They're trying to be God where we would have to come to them for everything, okay? And um, so you get, they call it totalitarianism, and that's what this pandemic is, one of the schemes is speeding up that process. But there's a lot of resistance because people realize that they, they these government agencies are supposed to be there to protect us is being bought and paid for, you know? So we have to protect ourselves and rely on, rely on the real God, which is God Almighty. Uh, or Allah, or Ra, uh, the universe, whatever you want to call your higher powers. That's where we get our strength from, and that's where that leads us to the truth. And you can see people lying on TV and other medias uh, because it, it, it hit a nerve inside you. Depression is the leading cause of ill health and disabilities worldwide, affecting approximately 380 million people globally, including more than 17 million Americans with prevalence more than three times higher than the COVID-19 pandemic. So don't know how many people was affected by COVID-19, but this depression is three times more effective, uh, devastating to people. Research shows nutrition is a critical factor in depression. Researchers have suggested that diet is an important yet overlooked aspect of psychiatry. Research found seniors who followed the DASH diet were 11% less likely to develop depression over the following six years. Whereas those following the standard American diet had the highest rate of depression. So not only is this, the standard American diet a sad diet because of all the, the pesticides and herbicides and nitrates and nitrites uh, fall out, you know, round up. <laughs> okay, it's uh, glyphosate. Fluoride is <laughs> just all these poisons is already in the food that's causing ill health is also messing with people's minds, causing depression. Other studies have shown that unprocessed food, especially fermented foods like pickles and sauerkraut, help optimize your gut microbiome okay, it's your gut health, thereby supporting optimal mental health, whereas sugar, the number one drug in this country, is more addictive than crack cocaine. Uh, wheat, which is gluten, which is, gluten is a Latin word for glue, that clogs up your stomach, clogs up your cells, clogs up your system, 
makes it harder for your body to get the nourishment out of the food that you just ate when you eat glue. Called bread, donuts, pastries, and it's gluten-free. Even some major pizza chains have gluten-free pizzas. So that is not only causing people's ill health, it's that now the scientists are pointing out how it's messing with people's mental health. Number thing, other thing he listed in here is processed foods. Studies have shown that unprocessed foods, especially fermented foods, help optimize your gut microbiome, thereby supporting optimum mental health, whereas sugar, gluten, wheat, processed food has been linked to a greater risk for depression, anxiety, even suicide. Your gut communicates to your brain, visits your vagus nerve, and it's and the distress pathway in your endocrine system, and by producing mood boosting neurotransmitters, these link help explain why your gut health has such a significant impact on your mental health. It's, some people call your guts like your second brain. I know Mona Harrison talked about that. Okay. And this vagus nerve go from your guts to your brain. And eating your food takes about 20 minutes for the brain to get the signal that you're full. That's one reason eating slowly is so important and chewing your food. I would say put some food in your mouth, put the fork down, put the spoon down and chew between each mouthful. It's ideal. But we found it out the standard American diet is causing suicides. That's <laughs> um, this article first came out March 15, 2018, but it's been updated to this day's date. According to the worldwide the World Health Organization, depression is a leading cause of ill health and disabilities worldwide affecting an estimate 280 million people globally, including more than 17 million Americans, but prevalence for depression episodes more than three times higher than the COVID-19 pandemic. Statistics also reveals we're not being particularly effective when it comes to prevention and treatment. So they was really trying to help you with this colds and flus and, and viruses, they'll tell you to get into your health. At least get your vitamin D3 in. It was a worldwide study that I ran across a couple of years ago, or maybe a year and a half ago, talking about they could prevent 80% of the deaths from COVID in Chicago and Boston if people taking 10,000 IUs of vitamin D a day. That's 20 cent a pill. 40 cent a day prevent 80% of the deaths. If you or someone you love is struggling with depression or some other mental health problems, remember that your diet is a fundamental aspect that must not be overlooked. As noted in the 2015 study published in the medical journal, Lynette, quote, although the determinants of mental health are complex, the emerging and compelling evidence for nutrition as a critical factor in the how high prevalence and incidence of mental disorder suggests that diet is as an important to psychiatry as it is to uh, to your heart, to your doctor, your uh, doctrine system, to your gastro and, and doctor system. It's just as important to your brain, to your heart, to and to your digestive system. Your food, the compelling link between food and mood. <laughs> Research looking at the effects of uh, this DASH diet on the mental health concluded that the kind of dietary pattern, which is low in sugar and high in fresh fruits and vegetables, can help reduce the risk of depression in seniors. Overall, people who followed the DASH diet were 11% less likely to develop depression over the following six years. Whereas those following a standard American diet, the SAD diet, high in red meat and low in fruits and vegetables, 
had the highest risk of depression, which could lead to suicide. Now, a friend of mine told me they have this suicide machine. It's called the um, the mother. <laughs> Ooh we. Um, I know this is out of the world, out of space, and all that. But um, I was trying to get this name of what they call this machine that they call it out there that constantly telling you to kill yourself. Oh, these folks ain't playing about lowering the uh, population in this world. and uh, But it's called the mother something. Um, oh, here we go. <laughs> it's called the voice of God. The voice of God is a subliminal message that's been <laughs> out there constantly telling people to kill themselves. Can you believe it? I know I found it hard to believe too. But have you ever had thoughts about killing yourself? <laughs> it may be effect from this machine they got out called the voice of God. Or some people call it the voice of a skull. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's, um, yeah, it's a lot of crazy stuff out there. So... It's bad enough with that the food causing depression. It's worth noting that while many conventional experts recommend the DASH diet, it is not necessarily ideal for optimum health, as it also promotes whole grains and low-fat foods, including low-fat dairy. Healthy fats, including saturated animals and plant fats and uh, animal-based omega-3s, are quite critical for optimal brain health. See, the um, my seed source is omega-3, which is essential, like the vitamin D to have every day, is hemp seed and chia seed. They're high in omega-3s and have other omegas in it too. And it gets source of fiber okay, and it's easy to digest. Uh, Flaxseed is good too. It's a little cheaper, but you get what you pay for. The first two, the chia and the hemp, is is the potency is extremely higher. This vest the uh, animal for omega three. My favorite is the salmon oil plus peels, because it give you eight parts of the omegas. Um, there's another one called core care, which gives you eight parts of the omegas. It's from noni people. Okay, um, it's extremely important to get those in every day. Um, other studies have shown that unprocessed foods, especially fermented foods like sauerkraut and pickles, help optimize your gut micro, thereby supporting optimal mental health, whereas sugar, wheat, gluten processed foods have been linked to greater risk for depression, anxiety, even suicide. The primary information highway between your gut and your brain is the vagus nerve, which connects the two organs. Your gut also communicates to your brain, this is the endocrine system, is the stress pathway, the hypothalamus, pituitary, and by producing mood boosting neurotransmitters like serotonin, so you get that from the noni juice, okay, uh, grammar, uh, but G-A-B-A. These communication links help explain why your gut health has such a significant impact on your mental health. That's why I wanted to, um, inst you know, Dr. next week we're going, hopefully we can get it, um, show you Dr. Guntley's presentation on the total restore. For leaky gut, I learned about it six months ago. You know, because it helped people lose weight. That's what I would zero in on. But I'm constantly studying, and I listen to the presentation again. And it, the leaky gut contributes to so many diseases in the body. So we eat the food, your body digests it, and your colon 
your large intestines, the last uh, five or six feet from your digestive system, from the mouth to the anus, is just you know stores you know uh, stores and get rid of the waste. But excuse me, the colon wall is real thin, and when you get lectins in it, it creates this hole in your gut, and on the other side of your colon is your blood system. So once this hole is in the gut, then these toxins in your colon was set up by your body as a garbage can for your body. It's like garbage cans in your backyard having a hole in it. Now the garbage in there can be leached out and the the rats can get into um into the garbage can. Can the poison can get into your colon. And the poisons is in your code and can leak out into your blood system. Okay, it's a leaky gut. So, so many diseases is caused by this. Source of poisons leaking from the gut, from your body's garbage can into your blood system. The total health helps seals up those holes and prevent them from formulating in the future. Because certain food with the glycolin in it causes that. The total health tube stops that. And Dr. Guntley breaks that down. The strong link between sugar and depression. See, remember, sugar is the number one drug in this country. A number of food ingredients can cause or uh, 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 aggravate depression. But one of the most significant is sugar, particularly refined white sugar and processed fructose. For example, in one study, men consuming more than 67 grams of sugar per day were 23% more likely to develop anxiety and depression over the course of five years compared to those whose sugar consumption was less than 40 grams per day, which is still far higher than the 25 grams per day recommended by for optimum health. So I think it's 28 grams equals a pound. <laughs> And uh, it came to give you an idea. This yield truth, even after accounting for other contributing factors, such as socioeconomic uh, status, exercise, alcohol use, smoking, and other eating habits, body weight, and general physical health, lead author Nepi, a research fellow and embryologist at the University of College of London, comments on the findings saying, Sweet food has been found to induce positive feelings in the short term. People experiencing low mood may eat sugary foods in the hope of alleviating negative feelings. Our study suggests a high intake of sugary foods is more likely to have the opposite effect on the mental health in the long run. So you, you're feeling bad, you eat you some sugar a food and you feel good but you end up feeling worse off then you gotta go get some more sugar that's what you call an addictive drug okay you 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 at level seven and um <laughs> you you know and you you, you want to be at level 10 you take some sugar it take you to level 12 and then it end up taking you back down to level six. So you got to go get some more sugar so you can get back up to level 10 at least, or maybe 12. <laughs> Addictive drugs. Research published in 202, which correlate per capita consumption of sugar with the prevalence of major depression in six counties, also found a high significant correlation between sugar consumption and the annual rate of depression. A Spanish study published in 2011 linked depression significantly to the consumption of baked goods with the sugar in it. Those who ate the most baked goods had a 38% higher risk of depression than those who ate the least. This makes sense when you consider baked goods contain both processed grains, <laughs> gluten, and sugar. <laughs> Okay, remember, if you're depressed, they suggest you take two. I took it. 
because I heard my wife talk about, you know, <laughs> how good it was. And I said, whoa, let me check this out. I took this in the middle of my work day, and I didn't feel like doing anything else after, rest, after I took this and it got into my system. I said, no, 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 no. We'll take this after I get halfway through my honey-do list on Sunday, okay? <laughs> how sugar works on your uh, uh, attacks your mood and your mental health. Sugar has been shown to trigger depression and other mental health problems through a number of different mechanisms, including the following. One, feeding pathogens in your gut, allowing them to overtake more friendly bacteria. See, the number one thing that Cancer loves to grow and populate like baby kids is sugar. Did he tell you when you get cancer, don't eat sugar? I knew when he get diabetes, he tell you don't eat sugar. Okay. Well, here we talk about how it's causing depression and suicide. Suppression activities of a key growth hormone in your brain called your brain-derived neurotopic factor, BDF. BDNF levels are critically low in both depression and uh, schizophrenia and animal will suggest this may actually be a carcerary factor. Number three, triggering a cascade of chemical reactions in your body that promotes chronic inflammation, pain, which over the long term disrupts the normal function of your immune system and weak epoch on your brain. If your immune system is weak, now diseases can get in there and do its work called dementia and Alzheimer's, okay, from sugar. Uh, contributing to insulin and leptin resistance, which also play a significant role in your mental health, okay. Affecting uh, the, the domain and neurotransmitters that fuel your brain's reward system, hence sugar addictive potential and is known to play a role in mood disorders. So it gives you that good feeling, that sugar initially, but then it, it dogs you out later on. Damaging your mitochondria with sugar, which is the engine of your body, which is what fried the oils and fried food do, is it's like 10 times, it's like worse than sugar, but anyway, damaging your mitochondria, which can have body-wide effects. Your mitochondria generates the vast majority of the energy, energy okay, in your body. When sugar is your primary fuel, excess of reactive oxygen sp as a species, ROS, and secondary, the free radicals are created, which damage cellular mitochondria membranes and you change your DNA. As your mitochondria are damaged, the energy current in your body declines and your brain will s struggle to work properly from the sugar. <laughs> Healthy dietary facts, okay. Remember, we talked about the salmon oil, um, uh, ocean fish oil, and the seeds, be the hemp seed, chia seed. Healthy dietary facts, on the other hand, cr creates fire fewer ROS and free radicals. Fats are also critical for your health of the cellular membrane and many other biological functions, including especially the function of your brain. Remember, this lady took the fat from coconut oil. She gave her husband, he loved coconut oil, he gave him like two tablespoons an ounce every day in his oatmeal, and in six months he was back helping her with the counting and cooking. He had dementia and Alzheimer's using coconut oil, turning that around based on her own personal experiences. Among the most important factors for brain function and mental health are the long chain animal based omega 3s, fats, DNA, and EPA, essential fat. Okay, not only are they anti inflammatory, but DNA is actually a component of every cell in your body and 90 percent of the omega-3 found uh in your uh, in your 
N3 Pruda is brain tissues is DNA. <laughs> 90%. We encourage people to take the lecithin because it is emulsified. You know how water and oil doesn't mix. You put the lecithin in there, gets it to mixing. can break up that cholesterol. Eating real foods is key. A paper published in Nutritional Neuroscience in 2018 looked at evidence from laboratory, published research, and clinical trials to create a set of practical dietary recommendations for the prevention of depression based on the best available current evidence. According to this paper, the published evidence suggests five key dietary recommendations for the prevention of depression. One, following traditional dietary diets such as the Mediterranean, the Norwegian, or the Japanese diet. These are the good things. Number two, increased consumption of antioxidants, rich fruits, vegetables, legumes, whole grain cereals, nuts, and seeds. Note that autoimmune diseases are rampant and whole grains and legumes are loaded with leptins and best avoided. Okay. Eat plenty of omega-3 rich foods. Replace unhealthy processed food with real wholesome nutritional foods. Avoid processed foods, fast foods, commercial baked goods, and sweets. Processed foods are a pandemic in more than one way. <laughs> Three brain and mood weakening corpus that you automatically avoid when avoiding processed foods are added sugar, artificial sweetness, and processed vegetable oil. Harmful fats known to clog your arteries and cause mitochondria dysfunction. Gluten also appears to be a particularly problematic for many. If you're struggling with depression or anxiety, be well advised to experiment with a gluten-free diet. Certain types of lectins, especially wheat germ, are also known for their psychotic side effects. The wheat germ can cross your blood brain barrier through a process called uh, absorption and doctors pulling other substances with it. The wheat germ may af affect to your uh, mite of seat and is capable of inhibiting nerve growth factors, which is important for the growth, maintenance, and survival of certain target functions. Processed foods are also a significant source of genetically engineered ingredients, okay, GMOs, and toxic herbicides like Roundup. In addition to these being toxic and potential carcinogenic, causing cancer, glyphosate, the active ingredients in Roundup, have been shown to provincially dismetal beneficial gut microbes. Okay, the Roundup kills the friendly bacteria in your guts. Many grains need to dry in the field before being harvested, and to speed that process, the fields are dosed with glyphosate a couple times, <laughs> a couple of weeks before harvest. As a result of this practice called desuffocation <laughs> grain based products tend to contain higher levels of roundup glycosate this reason alone is enough to warrant a grain free diet but if you choose to eat whole grains products make sure it is organic to avoid the roundup your beverage choice may also need an overhaul as most people drink very little pure water Relying on sugary beverages like soda, fruit juice, sports drink, energy drinks, and flavored water for new hydration needs. None of these alternatives would do your mental health any flavor. Favor. It's nothing like water. See, God made the water, man made all the other stuff. <laughs> so, um, unfortunately, we ran out of time. Anti inflammatory food support. Good health, okay. They have a, a list here. Uh, 
In summary, the large population-based study found that depression is associated with high levels of uh, CRP and low levels of, uh, of iron. These findings corroborate the precise that information could play a role in the death. Um, pathological allergy of major depression and that major depression may be seen as a huh, psychoneurological disorder. Four powerful dietary interventions. Okay. Uh, implementing a uh, keto diet. Intermittent fasting. Okay. Uh, water fasting and exercise. It's so important. It just uh, at least ninety minutes a week, which would be three half hour walking, is so important as far as your health. Okay, a, a water fast, or oh, I, I I like the uh, peppermint uh, tea fast, or hibiscus tea uh, fast. It's so beneficial. Um, uh, we fasting with our church right now. Intermediate fast is you got 24 hours. You just, for eight hours, the key time from noon to eight is the only time you consume food. Okay, so your body got from noon to eight, your body's consuming food from eight in the morning to four as your body's using the food. From four in the morning to noon as your body is discarding the food. Okay, so get up in the morning and eat you some fruits, which is natural cleansers for the body, helps with the elimination of those toxins. Intermediate fast also helps optimize your brain function and prevent neurological problems by activating your body's fat burning modes, preventing insulin resistance, and reducing oxidative stress and inflammation, the latter of which have been identified as a causation factor in depression. While you may achieve some of the benefits from intermediate fasting simply by respecting the time boundaries, regardless of the food you consume, it is far better if you consume high quality unprocessed food. Since you'll be eating less, it is virtually important that you get proper nutrition. Healthy fats are essential because intermediate fasting pushes your body to switch over to fat burning mode, particularly if you begin to feel tired and sluggish. It may be a sign that you need to increase the amount of healthy fats in your diet. And the water fast is, is kind of tough, but it's so worth it. See, every 10 days you fast, especially on a water fast, your body saves so much energy it gets one year younger. <laughs> uh, EFA EMF electron magnetic field exposure could be working uh, ad hoc on your mental health these com uh, cell phones uh, the computers the wiring in your house all put out this electron magnetic field we had this plug at the office that neutralized the electron magnetic energy coming from your cell phone and can work on your whole house. All right. Um, see, I've heard stories about just the 5G, which is messing up everybody's phones. People I talk to say the phone is just being dropped and et cetera. Okay. But it's a cover because the the the, the side effects from the 5G is give you the same side effects as COVID. Who we? Um, <laughs> so um, that that is is, is so important. I, I can't stress enough about eating God's foods. We not lacking drugs. We're lacking the vitamins and minerals, the trace minerals, the fatty acids, the precursors. This article talking about the omega threes, okay, the friendly bacteria, the things that God made for us to consume. We, you know, the folks wanted to take drugs. See, the history is 
everybody was using healthy ways to heal back before Rockefeller took over the medical industry. Okay? How you do that? He sent this one guy for five years. He went around to every medical school back in, I think, 25 and offered them a deal they can't refuse. You know, either join up with him and he give you money to back your school, give you grants, do research and things like that. But your school got to teach his program, which is pushing drugs. Half of them said yes, the other school said no, and the ones that said no, he ended up running them out of business. Okay. Then they developed the American Medical Association, the authorities. Okay. You know, then they want to neutralize hemp and and, um, and marijuana. You know, because you can make 10,000 items from hemp. And it's a weed that grows everywhere. And it's cheap. <laughs> so um, we get the education, get the information, and um, you just tune into God for the answers. And um, it's always there. God is always there for you. He's always been there for me. He's there for you too. So hopefully this can make some changes in people's lives. And you can always give us a call at the store at five eight six seven five seven diet. Again, that's five eight six seven five seven three four three eight. Our old number still works, three one three three six six diet, and you can reach me by phone or text. I will give you a call back at three one three six hundred eighty five thirty two. Come see us. <laughs> If you ain't scared, get a hug, okay, at 3807 East 8 Mile Road. We use like the humidifiers here with the high peroxide in it to kill the fungus, germ, viruses, mold, yeast in the air because we need to get back together, having family time, you know, being together. That's so important. And hugs is healing, so... We use the civil water spread by nose to kill viruses. We just got a whole arsenal just thanking God for everything. And you too. So each one teach one. Peace and love.